Doug Inkley, National Wildlife Federation Senior Scientist down on the Gulf, taking a look one year later at what's going on. What I'm seeing is oil on the marshes, vegetation still dying, and I know from a, as a scientific, from a scientific perspective that we're only at the beginning of understanding and realizing the impacts of this oil spill. We're in Bay Jimmy. Yeah. We're looking at some areas that got hit really hard by the oil. Today the water is up because the wind is out of the south. Areas where the grass was killed by oil are now inundated with water. Waves are eating away at the soil. And so marsh that we need to help protect, provide habitat for creatures and to help protect the areas behind it is being washed away. This area has been hit by a loss of wetlands of 2,300 square miles in the last 70 to 100 years. It's going to continue in the year 2050. We could have lost an area the size of Rhode Island. So the water comes up with tide or with wind. They're very accustomed to withstanding that, and in fact, it brings nutrients and sediment into the marsh, which is good for it. However, in this case, the oil has killed the plants on the front edge of the marsh. Those are, the, those are like the first line of defense for the marsh against erosion. So with nothing up front to break the force of that front end is just slowly eroding away. It's not even that slow. It's eroding away pretty so When you see them pick up a handful of vegetation like that, a big plot full of vegetation, you have to think, you know what, there goes another piece of our valuable coastal Louisiana marsh. What Congress needs to do is dedicate the Clean Water Act penalties that we lobbied against BP to this area so that it can restore the Gulf of Mexico. So restore these wetlands off the Louisiana coast to help return it to the glory that it once was in extremely productive waters and support commercial fisheries and support a way of life down here, actually. So they've set up these reflective streamers. They're like mylar scarecrows, kind of, and they've got the propane cannons going off to try to keep birds from, uh, to try to keep birds from hanging out in the oily marsh. But we have seen birds sitting underneath the propane cannons as they go off, happily dabbling in the, in the mud. Yeah, what is that out there right now? What bird is that? That looks like a pelican to me. So clearly, not doing much to scare him off. You can learn more by going to the NWF website at nwf.org slash oilspill.